if a patient has a sudden loss of vision in one eye, they need to call their ophthalmologist or retina specialist as soon as possible for an evaluation. A patient with a retinal artery occlusion tends to have a fairly dramatic, sudden, painless loss of vision that occurs over several seconds. So it's quite profound. Many people just notice it in their daily activities. They may be watching television and all of a sudden a screen comes down over their vision and blocks their vision and the vision does not return. Sometimes patients will have brief episodes of vision loss where a shadow or curtain comes over their vision and then lifts and then they're back to their normal vision and it signifies that the patient is having episodes of poor blood flow to their eye. If a patient is seen by an optometrist or ophthalmologist, we do want to see that patient, but we think the most important first step would be to have them evaluated at a stroke center because we know that patients who have retinal artery occlusions are at increased risk of strokes and cardiovascular events, especially in the first several weeks following the retinal artery occlusion. We also like to see the patient maybe in two to four weeks we want to check for any complications that may occur because of the blocked artery. A fluorescein angiogram is a dye test that we use to check the blood flow to the retina. It's something that we do in the office. We inject the dye in the arm and the dye travels to the eye. The dye fills the retinal blood vessels and veins and we can determine if there's any loss of blood flow. So when a patient does have a retinal artery occlusion, the damage tends to be permanent. Unfortunately, there are no current treatments for retinal artery occlusions. We know that people who have retinal artery occlusions tend to have risk factors. Uh, many of them have cardiovascular disease, carotid artery disease, they smoke, they have high blood pressure, diabetes. And so those are factors that can be controlled. Making sure that you have a primary care doctor that you see on a regular basis to check for those chronic conditions is important. We want people to know that a stroke to the eye is devastating and there's really nothing that can be done to improve that vision. But it's not just the eye that we're concerned about. We're concerned about the overall health of that patient and their future risk of stroke or other vascular events that could leave them more impaired.